What's up, everybody? Tech Checker here, and we've got some news coming in from Hascon 2017. The Marvel Legends uh, discussion panel basically went through a bunch of new stuff, and so I'm going to try and parse through all of it. I've been searching through the internet. I think I have completed the internet and found everything that is newly revealed within the uh, Marvel Legends world. This is going to be for both 12-inch and 6-inch. I'm not getting into the 3 and 3 quarter inch. But let's go ahead and jump right on into it. And first, we're going to talk about the 12-inch figures that um, are coming out. Now, we knew about the 12-inch Wolverine in the blue and yellow suit, but we are also seeing a 12-inch Black Panther. And this looks to basically be the exact same Black Panther that we got from the Civil War wave. Uh, but we get an image of that in package and out of the package looking pretty good. Then there is also a Weapon X Deadpool. I think we knew that this was coming. I thought it was going to be a 6-inch, but this is a 12-inch Weapon X Deadpool looks pretty darn good. We can see it in package and out of package looking pretty nice there. Next up, we are moving into the Avengers wave. Um, and it looks like, as far as I can tell, Songbird is going to be in that wave. I will double check and correct if it is not. Uh, but we can see a quick image of her out of package. And then we are getting a picture of King Cobra that is going to be in the Avengers wave. And this looks to be mostly a repaint of the um, Hobgoblin, Green Goblin body mold uh, with a new cape that and hood that obviously looks like the Cobra. Looking pretty cool, though. Moving down into the Black Panther wave, we knew that we were getting a Submariner, um, Namor, but we are finding out that he actually is coming with um, alternate heads. So we are getting a freshly, freshly uh, shaved head and then a bearded head, which is pretty cool. Those are the only two major differences that I am seeing between those two is the two heads. And then also Black Bolt is coming with two heads as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm still not a huge fan of this Black Bolt. It is basically just a repaint of the Bucky Cap uh, mold. Not a whole heck of a lot to it. There's no additional mold work from what I can tell. It's mostly just paint. Um, but I do like the head sculpt. This this head sculpt with the uh, the energy whatever coming out of uh, out of the the little things on his forehead for the uh, what is it the sound thing uh, that looks really good. It looks really really nice. But again, it's basically just a very very simple uh, figure. They are going to be giving us an invincible Iron Man, and this actually looks pretty good. It looks like he's coming with alternate hands, he's coming with the blast effects, um, and an unmasked head, which is really, really cool. It looks a little, I don't know, it looks a little funny um, to me, but they've, they're they showing a comic page right next to it, so um, it actually looks to be reflecting that quite well. So I'm I'm actually kind of excited for this one. Um, there also are supposed to be some movie Black Panther figures, but I could not find any pictures of them. So, I again, I don't know what those are going to look like. Moving down into the Deadpool wave, um, basically the only thing new that we learned is, and we already knew that Paladin was going to be in this wave, but we actually got um, a picture of what he's supposed to look like. If you go to MarvelousNews.com, they have got a whole bunch of pictures of the actual displays. A lot of these figures were actually um, displayed at Hascon, so you can go ahead and check out what they look like out of package, but I'm not going to go through all the pictures here. Uh, because that just would take too long. But this Paladin looks pretty decent. Most of it is a, uh, you know, repaint using lots of reused parts. But uh, the torso looks slightly different. That could be coming from 
uh, some other characters. I'm thinking Scourge right off the top of my head, but I could be completely wrong on that one. The other part that we already had heard about was the Build-A-Figure for the Deadpool wave is going to be Sasquatch. And here's another picture of him with the rest of the wave. Um, look, It looks pretty good, um, but again, there's quite a bit of retooling from the Man-Thing uh, Build-A-Figure. But I think they, they changed it up quite a bit that it's not a big deal um, that they reused a lot of parts because they did give uh, a lot of uniqueness to this sculpt. So I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of excited about this, even though I'm not a big fan of Sasquatch. Okay, so we found out, or we actually got one more new picture from the Spider-Man wave, uh, which is this Spider-Woman, which this looks pretty good. Uh, you know, I don't really have... I don't really have a lot to say about this. What do you guys think of this one? Um, probably going to be a pass for me, but that's uh, that's just me. All right, and then let's get into the big hitter with the X-Men wave. And a lot of people are very, very excited for the Psylocke. Um, everybody's wanted this character for forever. I've seen so many customs of this uh, character it's about time that Hasbro has uh, actually given us a Psylocke, and she looks pretty darn good, I have to say. And here's a quick picture of her out of package. Not too bad, I would have to say. It looks pretty decent. And then we are also getting an 80s style Storm, which is really cool. She's got the uh, mohawk. I don't know if she'll come with an alternate head or anything like that, but that would be really cool. Then we also are getting a six inch um, blue and yellow Wolverine, which is really cool. I know a lot of people are going to be super stoked about this, myself included. And the basically this looks to be pretty much the exact same thing as their 12 inch. So it's not just a full repaint of the Juggernaut one, uh, though it looks pretty darn close. Uh, I think they really just added the shoulder pieces. Yeah, the rest of it looks to be pretty much the exact same. Maybe the head sculpt's a little bit different, but I don't honestly care. This thing looks really, really cool. All right, let's go through the exclusives. Now, we already knew about the Hydra um, and we know that the Hydra 2-pack, that's going to be a um, Toys R Us exclusive. We knew that, uh, but here's a quick picture of that. I think there's been plenty of pictures that have gone around of that one. And then we are getting a Claw and Shuri. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but Claw and Shuri, this is a 2-pack um, from what I understand, this is also going to be a uh, Toys R Us exclusive. And Shuri, I had to look her up, is basically Black Panther's um, half-sister. So obviously that's why she looks a lot like the Black Panther. Uh, and she apparently is borrowing his spear in this because that's basically, we've seen that spear now with the what is it the Walgreen or Walmart exclusive Black Panther and the oh why can't I think of his name from the Rhino Wave I'll think of it later after I've done I'm done recording but the one thing that we did not know before we knew about a Thanos coming out but we didn't know that Thanos was going to be a an exclusive and he's going to be a Walmart exclusive so this is pretty much just a repaint of and a repack of the, um, oh gosh, it was the uh, Captain America wave way back when he was a Build-A-Figure. Now apparently he's going to be a, an exclusive for Walmart. I assume that he's going to come with his legs off um, unless they can fit him into the package. He's not that tall. Um, but the only real difference is he is coming with the Infinity Gauntlet, which I know a lot of people are going to be excited for, and it has different paint. 
um, which it looks to be in this picture a much better paint design than the original. So I'm super excited. I'm probably not even going to bother trying to finish the other one, which I think I'm. I just have two parts left. I need the Captain America and the um, Iron Man. I think it's both legs for that. So probably won't be finishing it, and I'll just get this one. And then one piece of rumor mill uh, information that I saw is I saw this picture that someone had posted on Twitter of a MODOK. Now, this does not look to be a um, an actual action figure. This is just a little statue. The only thing that was posted with the, uh, with the picture was... Um, not sure what this is, but it was in an open display case. So it could have been that somebody, you know, somebody was just throwing it there, somebody who was attending, or maybe that is Hasbro alluding to something. I want everyone to know I have zero clue what this is. I just found it on Twitter. So don't claim that this is truth or anything. I just thought I would share to see if anybody else knows about it. Alrighty, that is everything that I could find that seemed relevant for HasCon 2017 for the Marvel Legends wave of 12-inch figures and 6-inch um, uh, figures. Oh, and one last note, I almost forgot. We saw a picture of Apocalypse which is apparently going to be the Build-A-Figure for the uh, X-Men wave. And the bummer that I saw, and this is coming from um, MarvelousNews.com, is they are indicating that Apocalypse will be about 8 inches tall, which to me is a bummer and basically is going to, I think, keep the Toy Biz Build-A-Figure uh, still rising in value and uh, desirability because an eight inch apocalypse just i don't know doesn't seem all that interesting to me okay and one last piece apparently according again to marvelous news is shardum's prime asked must have asked a question during the q a section about double jointed elbows for female characters and they said they are looking into it um, but from what I understand, they are not doing double jointed elbows as of yet. You can go check marvelousnews.com uh, to validate any updates to that. But that is what I have read thus far. So there you have it, folks. You saw it here first, unless you didn't. I hope this was informative and helpful. If it was, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Tell me what you're excited about. What is looking to be a bit of a bummer or a dud this year and next year. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.